two practical ways to boost your emotional maturity coming right up. Number one, let go of grudges. We recently looked at five signs you're emotionally intelligent in this video. And you can check that out if you haven't seen it. Basically, the ability to recognize and manage your emotions and the ability to recognize the emotions of others, distinguishing them from your own, is a great way to avoid grudges and is a way to boost your emotional intelligence. When you're emotionally immature, you will tend to take on other people's emotions and before you know it, you will give yourself unnecessary stress and resentment cause you took on emotions that do not belong to you. So let go of grudges and do not take on any emotions that do not serve you or help you grow. Essentially, when you are able to distinguish your emotions from that of others, separating them, you will not take on their energy and emotional states. If, for instance, you are having a good day and someone comes around you and says something that aggravates you, you have to realize that this person has come to you most times in that state of mind, unless they also are emotionally mature enough to say what they have to say in a better, non-offensive way. If you get angry with them, now you have taken on an emotion that was not yours like say a few moments before, and you will start to grudge. So the most effective way to let go of grudges is to be self-aware enough not to take on emotions that are not yours by ensuring you are always grudge-free, which is an emotional maturity sign at work. Number two, embrace your own flaws. No one is perfect. Learning and growing will never get old. You will have to get used to learning and relearning in order to build your emotional maturity, your emotional intelligence. Yes, emotional maturity and emotional intelligence are interchangeable, in case you were wondering. And learning to embrace not just your strengths, but also your flaws will help you boost your emotional maturity. As you grow up in life, you will find that being an adult does not automatically make you mature. There are many childish things you will have to outgrow. And in the process, you need to consistently stick with your new good habits and patiently eliminate bad habits that do not serve you. Be flawsome. An individual who embraces their flaws and knows they are awesome regardless. Once you accept your flaws, you can learn to walk on yourself. Emotional maturity does not happen overnight. You need to be able to face things about you that you need to work on without feeling like a failure or like a fraud. That's emotional maturity. It's like, I'm not where I need to be yet. I'm making progress to get where I need to be and I'm enjoying the process. I am mature enough to admit my wrongs and turn them into rights without feeling bad. Research suggests that emotional maturity is responsible for as much as 80% of the success in our lives. So do well to grow and boost your emotional intelligence and maturity. Love to hear from you in the comments. Thank you for watching. I love you.